So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're working on Holly's buggy, which is a uh, Axis 500, which was the only thing we could find during uh, COVID when we bought it. So we've had pretty good luck with it. The only thing is the solenoid and the starter went out in it last week. Uh, it almost caught it on fire. So we finally got our new parts in and uh, we're going to get it fixed today. So I've just got through changing out the solenoid on the buggy, um, which is real easy to do. Um, I'll follow a guy on YouTube, which I'll put a link to his channel down below. And um, what I did is I went to Amazon and ordered everything I need. I think it was like listed on there for 70 bucks for the starter and this solenoid. Um, I've already changed this one out which you just have to unhook the ground wire, um, unhook the, bos the positive battery terminals, and it just plug and play, real simple. So now I'm fixing to test it and might see if this uh, will in e attempt to engage our starter. All right, so we got it in neutral, got the parking brake set. I'm gonna power it on. I hear the fuel system engage. Now let's see what happens. So that did fix that issue. Now the only thing I got to do is I got to get in here and change out this starter because it's definitely dragging. I think the best way to access this is I'm just gonna uh, loosen these, cl these clamps I'm going to take the throttle body and just set it over to the side and that will give me access to the starter. We got the throttle body kind of moved over out of the way. So there are two bolts. There's one on each side, right? And then we have to disconnect this, but I think it melted on there. Just my light. So let me go disconnect the battery. All right. So I don't know if y'all can see those two little bolts right here. Those have to come out and those are number eight. So let's get those out. Right here are these two little bolts. They're number eight, and we just, I've already broken them loose. Now I'm just removing them because they're not the easiest to get to, but they're not too bad. Let's see. Get this one. There's one. 
We just don't want to drop them. There you come. So we got those two out. Let me put them in my container. There it goes. Dang it, that sucker's tight. But the other day, it got so hot and I couldn't cut the battery off fast enough. So it definitely melted that down in there. You can see that piece move. Let's get this out. Here she comes. So you can guys can tell how that just kind of, it just got so hot it just melted all that down in there. And how this one is pretty sturdy so yeah getting the parts for it was way easier than I thought it was going to be so let's get this one in and give her a test she just pops right back into place Dropped it, YouTube. So let's take it back out. I got to find my screw. I said it was not too bad. I said it wouldn't fit but one way, but I didn't say it had to be easy. Got it started that time. So now let me get this other one in. So I'm not going to tighten them too tight. I'm just going to tighten them. You don't want to overdo it and strip them out. Up. 
put our lock washer back on. Start our nut. We'll put our boot back over it so we don't short out nothing. Almost. So now let's put our throttle body back in. That back in. Plug the sensor back in. Okay. That won't fit. So now let's hook up the battery cable and see what she does. All right, you two, we got her in neutral. Got the parking brake on. Fuel system is priming. So now all I have to do is put her all the covers, seats, console back in, and we'll see what else Holly can tear up. So I'm sorry for the poor lighting guys, but it's kind of late in the afternoon. We had a lot of company when I was trying to do this. So this is like the third time I've attempted to do this today. But like 70 something dollars in parts off of Amazon and about an hour and a half work and everything works like it should so overall I'm, I'm pretty happy because uh, I had no idea when this happened that I was going to be able to fix it without a problem because it is uh, a no name from a big box store so I got one more thing to do I gotta get that handle off so this here, me, I'm kind of big and I do most of the ride. I'm tired of beating against this handrail. And I know the manufacturers don't recommend this, but it's got to go. Boogie rides again. 